Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne with Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly with My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today, so let's get started. Today is episode 60, Cleaning Tips to Save You Time. And oh, this is, I know this isn't really decorating related, but this will make all of your decor sparkle. So we all, and we're <laughs> all about- Not my favorite topic, I I'm know. going to admit, but hopefully Not, we can make this fun and very informative. That's right. And because you know, for it's all about, like, sorry, go ahead. Well, I was going to say for people like me, I don't, cleaning's not my thing but I want a clean house so mm-hmm. if this can help me clean my house faster and quicker then I'm all there yeah and, you know we, we we have busy lives and there's other things we want to do other than clean uh, I know some people love to clean I'm not one of them but I'm all about a clean house so this is what we're going to talk about today You want to keep a very clean house. And I know maybe many of you out there have somebody that comes in once in a while and gives you some help. And some of you do it all yourself. So we're not talking about deep cleaning or spring cleaning or like taking the screens out of your out of your windows if you have them. We're going to talk about everyday ways to keep a house clean on an everyday basis. Mm -hmm. So, Kelly, why don't you begin? I think you have a great tip for us. Well, I have a, yeah, I have a quick fun tip. So we'll start out with the, my, the I think. Uh, I love this. My mm-hmm. funnest tip. You might have more <laughs> fun tips in your uh, bag of tricks, uh, Anita and Yvonne. But uh, my mom taught me this <laughs> a long time ago. My mom is a really good cleaner. Let me just tell you. If you mm-hmm. want, if anybody mm-hmm. wants to learn, we should get Jerry on here. If anybody wants to learn from a pro, she is really good. Um, but one of the things that she did when I was growing up is my mother almost always had a, a, like a rag on her under her foot <laughs> in the kitchen and she'd be like and and she'd be like swishing around you know only you can only do this with one foot at a time it would be a little hard but she would she would either have you know in between vacuums or maybe she broom swept it or something and then just to go over the floor and have it smell clean and look clean um I was uh, often told be careful it's wet over there you know she needed those mm-hmm. little cones like they have at the grocery store if there's a spill <laughs> so anyway I grew up doing that we called it the floor dance and when I was I little I thought that. it was so fun and she'd sometimes give me one or two and we'd dance around mm-hmm. and we would just tidy up the floor you can even get next to the molding because you're using your toes be careful not mm-hmm. to smash your toes into the molding because that is no fun but Here's- then I I pass this down to my girls and every once in a while I'll be you know doing it in the kitchen and one of them will come and say, Oh, the floor dance, give me one. <laughs> oh, how fun. Here's and the And you tip. can do it with or without music. And I would No, I, I like, think with. And with music yeah. is more Happy fun. Music. I think- You get a more thorough clean with music. (laughs) Um, I think so. You can just use it with, uh, you know, we have hardwood floor in the kitchen. So you can either just use uh, with a rag wrung out, so just water, or I put a little Bona in the the mix and swish it around. Mm -hmm. And there and off we go. And it's just a quick way. And if I do it in between vacuums, I don't have to vacuum it that much. Our dog doesn't shed, so we're not dealing with hairy dog stuff like I know Anita is Mm -hmm. but you know there's dust bunnies there's you know and you know you don't want to be just flinging around the um crumbs and whatnot Mm -hmm. I you know it's in between vacuums and it's in between a broom Mm -hmm. uh clean Mm -hmm. if you do that but it's fun and it's very effective and you get a good leg workout you have to bury your legs because you're getting a good you're getting a good workout definitely inner thigh workout well I think you know those of us battling blogger butt this would be the (laughs) thing to try oh yeah yeah Yeah, there is hashtag blogger butt there is such a thing Yeah. Mm-hmm. The struggle is real. Yes. Oh. And here's a, 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 also a thing. You can get crumbs up with like, mic- I mean, not big crumbs, those microfiber um, cloths. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's some a of good them idea are, too. Some of them really pick a lot up. And if you're really a DIYer, you can make your own cloth booties I've for your whole family and I've just go too. to it. <laughs> I have seen those. Yeah. yeah oh, you, you have. Some that, okay. I think that there's some Velcro thing. I don't know. Some attachments you can add. I have a girlfriend. We won't name her. Um, she's my Southern girlfriend. So all of my friends listening know exactly who it is. If you come to her house, she wears this bi- these big blue slippers that look like mops. 
Oh, <laughs> my goodness. And that's how she walks around her house. It is so adorable. Now, she doesn't take them off when she has company? Not us. Oh, okay. No, no, okay. no. I mean, we just, we show up like we are, you know. There's uh, yeah, just, and then she should no give air. all of you one. Uh, yeah, set. Yes, although she is like the best. She's the one I said that's such a great tablescaper. She sets her oh. table all the time, and she's always having company. Just but don't it, look under the table at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if she's having like a group of us, she doesn't. But if we just show up, she's got this on. It's so cute. Um, Anita, do you have one for us? Well, I do. And, you know, the biggest thing I'm battling here is dog hair because I have a collie who looks exactly like Lassie. So think of all that hair. It's coming out all the time. And I had read in the beginning when we first got her, oh, you just need to keep her brushed. And if you keep your dog brushed, then you don't have to worry (laughs) about all this hair all over the floor. It seemed like the more I brushed her, the more it came out, even faster Mm. so i haven't found a really great way to to really keep that uh, to be not a problem so i have heard of uh, sometimes we've used this ferminator that's what i was just going to say that that's what my kids use Mm -hmm. well because she has a top coat and an undercoat so it's a very complicated whole hair thing going Mm -hmm. on with her but there's a hair everywhere so yeah, so we have tried the Firminator. Really, the only thing that seems to work is taking her to the groomers, like when she sheds her winter and her summer coat, and mm-hmm. really getting all that off. That seems to help. Then we we, we, we we buy ourselves a week or two with that, which is about it. <laughs> okay. But, but what I found that I really like the most is the stick vacuum. Now, we have mm. a very nice, very expensive vacuum that, that we use. But, you know, I'll just see a tuft of hair here or there. I'm tired of bending over because it's one hair over here, another one over there, and there's another, you know. So it's so much easier just to go grab that stick vacuum and just, uh, you know, just pick it up. I don't have to bend over and I don't have to go just get the big vacuum, plug mm-hmm. it in, pull it around. So that's my that's my suggestion. Oh, I totally agree with you. That's I, awesome. Sometimes I'm like, I don't want to take out that big vacuum. You know, yeah. what can I do? So we've actually gotten, and you know, this is such a like duh moment, <laughs> but you know, we had one dust buster and it was in one spot, and then you know. It, if you're in the bathroom, you're like, oh, I could pick that up, but then I have to go get the dust buster and then I have to come back and then I got to go plug the dust buster back in. So I have a dust buster plugged in under my sink in my bathroom, you know, the small ones. You but you have, have to have. bend over to use that on the floor, right? That's right? Exercise. That's an Battling exercise. blogger butt, you know, now you're doing oh, that's true. That's you true. Have, there is some bending over involved, but I don't mind. Okay. I mean, cleaning no, is that's kind probably of a physical activity. Yes, yeah. yes. So, yeah, but just, I just think having, you know, you're saying like your stick back, it's not like taking the vacuum out and unwinding mm-hmm. the cord. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So these are quick things that if you just could grab the dust buster, you're done. And then, mm-hmm. you know, talk about, you know, you said buying yourself a week. Like maybe if you do these things on a regular basis, the tips that we're giving you today, that mm-hmm. would buy you more time, stretch the time in between mm-hmm. the big clean. Because let's face it, the big clean, not not even a big spring clean, but just a bigger clean where you're moving mm-hmm. furniture and you're vacuuming under things and doing all that. That takes hours. Well, well and the, the I don't have hours. Are- yeah, no, the, the dog hair everywhere, it drives me nuts. And so I'll think, oh, I'm going to get that when I get the big vacuum out. So it's just so much easier just to go take it, just nip it in the bud, get it now. And then mm-hmm. I don't have to wait mm-hmm. till I have, you know, 10 piles of hair everywhere. And right. this is this is a good segue into my tip. And it's uh, 30 minute cleaning to clean your house in 30 minutes a day. And Ooh. this oh, sign me up. I'm yes. telling you, this works. I've done it for years. Is this when you come over and clean it in thirty? <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure just, out what this how is. How do you charge okay. for a half hour? <laughs> I know. <laughs> a day, a day, a day. Oh, a day. Yeah, yes. that's oh, okay. Um, so I'm not talking about like organizing, putting everything away. You're just going to assume that you know you've got everything sort of put away because it that takes so much time. And I'll put a um a um uh post in the show notes about how to organize too like that that's really easy but I'll put the 30 minute cleaning and what you do is you start somewhere and you know you uh, I always start like at my front door for some reason and you have all of your cleaning products do you set your timer I, I I don't because I know you can, but I used to, okay. but I just know, okay, 30 minutes and oh, I just okay. sort of keep track of the time. I t- crank on some really fun dance music. Oh, okay. This, I d- see a common thread here. That really helps get your bottle of water, you know, get your sneakers on, do what you need to do. You're in, you're definitely in clean mode and you're going to take, get a, 
a caddy and put all your t um, cleaning supplies in it. And I think, I think Anita, you'll be talking about those soon. Um, and I'm very, I try to stay pretty green in my house anymore. I mean, there are things that I think clean better than anything else, and I do use those, but I stay pretty clean. And you're going to get a feather duster. And this is one of my biggest, biggest, biggest tips. A feather duster, even more than other products that are out in the market that sort of have that same effect. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. You get a feather duster and you start dusting from the ceiling down. The feather, a good feather duster, and I'll put a link to the one I have. Actually, I have one upstairs and downstairs because I have this tool caddy with everything up, one up and one down, and it has everything. And you're going to start cleaning one area going in a, I go clockwise in a clockwise direction so you're going to start like i dust like all my molding just it's so quick swish 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 mm -hmm. swish and down mm -hmm. and then if you need to wipe your door down you wipe your door down because you have a bucket of water next to you as well and you just go through the whole house like that first you dust and then you wipe off you know like with the wet whatever you have wet and then you either vacuum or do your floors and i mean you go quick 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 and i can do like my Hold downstairs in 30 minutes. Wow. And when you get to the bathroom, the bathroom should take you, unless you've got like a huge bathroom, it should only take you a couple of minutes. I call it, and I, I, this is not original to me. It's original to, I think, the something fairy. I forget what her name is. Uh, anyway, she taught uh, Swish and Swipe. Where you patience why yes you put your before you start cleaning you put your your cleaner in your toilet bowl and spray your sink down and all you have to do is quickly swish and sweat now remember that i go upstairs the next day for 30 minutes and i am like a mad woman going through everything just dusting 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 wiping down really quick vacuum and then i go downstairs again so you're going but when that timer goes off if you've not finished cleaning the whole downstairs you stop you're done for the day Oh, okay. and then the next day, if you're not done, you pick up where you left off. So you're doing this cycle of 30 minute cleaning. You've probably cleaned your house three or four times mm -hmm. in a week. Got it. Okay. And so you, that 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. But I mean, you put, you are, you are on a task. Right. You're going to attack it. Yes. And you're going to do fast and put on great music. Like I said, this isn't deep cleaning. Like I'm not cleaning my, my baseboards. And I, I have a thing about baseboards. I really like them clean. It bothers me if there's anything on them. So, but we're, I just like take my feather duster and get what I can off of that. If there's any smudges or things that really need to be wiped down, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. But you know, you do that every day. You're going to have a really clean house. Mm. Well, yeah, it'll never get away from you. In no. Effect, right? I what think you... that's, and that's what happens. It gets away from us and then someone wants to come over and you're like, uh, you uh, can't come right now. Yeah. <laughs> and... Tomorrow? No, that's not good either. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. And what it is, a lot of times it's your clutter. And mm. so this will help you. I mean, I would declutter first. Well, not really. I probably do it all at once. Maybe your first time would take you a little longer. But then once you get in that schedule, and that, that makes you want to keep it clean and keep it uncluttered. Right. And it doesn't seem overwhelming. And it really works. And if you have kids, you teach them this and you teach them how to do their room and their bathrooms like that. Mm. That's a really and good wow. That is my, yes. and I have a post on that. I'll put that in the show notes. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free 
That's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOSE to your wellness regime. DOSE is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co dot co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Uh, we have this dust bunny thing. I don't know what it is. I mean, <laughs> we are, the dog doesn't shed. Because you live in a very old house. Maybe. Uh, These are ancient mm, dust- vintage I dust vintage bunnies. dust bunnies. I don't oh, know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> a lot. Now, I, now I like them more. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, they sound better. Well, I have a favorite product that I use a lot, mm. and that is uh, the beeswax. It's in a yellow – I think it's just called beeswax. It's in a yellow can, and it's got bees on it. But I have found that from when I worked at this furniture store a long time ago. I use it on everything, on mirrors, on furniture, on stainless steel wow. countertop. Okay, it, so it's not for wood. I'm thinking when you're saying bees, and on yes. wood, mm-hmm. you use it on anything. Mm-hmm. It works on everything, and it just kind of leaves this very. It smells great, and it leaves this wax finish that just kind of protects everything. It's, oh. I mean, mm-hmm. read it. It just it's like for everything, and it's just non toxic. I mean, mm. it's one of my favorite. Oh, uh, put that in. Products. Good put to that know. In the show notes. Yes, I've yes, yes. Because I've been using the orange glow sometimes for my mm-hmm. for my furniture, but. Um, yeah, something that you could use on all surfaces. You just surfaces have to be careful be what you use on your furniture and your other pieces that there's no buildup of anything. Mm-hmm. And that um, I really love Norwex products. Um, they're from, well, I forget, they're from a European country. Sorry, Norwex people. Scandinavian. Norway, <laughs> maybe? Uh, well, I, <laughs> maybe. 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 But anyway, they are um, infused with silver. And oh, silver, which is silver. antibacterial. Absolutely. Do you know that that saying, born with a silver spoon in your mouth? Mm-hmm. That wasn't because they were rich, but people who could afford the silver, if a baby got sick, would put that in their mouth. I just, you know, I'm such a history buff. I love the history channel oh, that's and all that. So well, and, interesting. And that would help if it's, it was something bacterial. Yeah, <gasps> if we're starting to come down with something, we take that colloidal silver. Okay. And wow. then there's this, and then my washing machine has a silver cycle. Silver cycle. If it's, if okay. it's a, you know, if there's a biohazard in there, you p- touch that button that says silver cycle and it adds the silver um, to the biohazard. Water. I don't know. But anyway, Norwex well, your, has. Your DNA sofa, something like that. Yeah. 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 If I could put Nor- that in the washing machine. <laughs> Norwex is infused with silver and I really like that because a lot of, t- a lot of times I don't have to put anything. And this is sort of off, well, it's, it's on the topic. I have something which is called the Bobby Pet. This would be great for you, Anita. I thought you had a Bobby Pratt. 
I do. I do. It's a what? But she, she has a Bobby and, Pratt. And, and then she has a Bobby <laughs> When he vacuums. You're renting him out? What? No. I never rent him out. He's <laughs> priceless. But he vacuums. When he vacuums, it's like, come on, Bob. They can't be. You know, he's like vacuuming the fibers up. He works so hard at it. But anyway, it's called a Bobby Pet. And I have, I have a link. I'll put a link in the show notes. And it's a robotic um Oh, right. I want to try this. Wait a well, minute. I'll is tell this, you what. Is this the thing that's the, the vacuum that goes through yes. your house automatically? Yes. But I, they asked me to try it, so I did. And I was so on the fence about trying something. Did they something. name it after Bobby? <laughs> no. But, it's Bobby Pet. I B-O-B-B-I. B-O-B-B-I oh. Pet. Oh, so okay. it's a girl. It's a girl. Okay. But anyway, I was so... I'm so uber impressed with this. Like I have people come over and you know, I say, you want to see something so cool? <laughs> it Now I do have to pick up some of my drapes and things that are puddled on the floor, but it cleans. And if you don't want it to go somewhere, you put these little things that have, I guess, an infrared or something, and it doesn't go past it. You can program it and tell it where to go. Stop and then, it. No, well, listen, I'm not even done. <gasps> what, and it's a bobby pet because it has these little like sweeping sweeping like cat whiskers that come out of the sides and pick up like every bit of pet hair you can think of. Oh I my need goodness. This for my oh, bunny. And oh, then girl, well, I'm, is, girls, I'm not done yet. Then it <laughs> then it finds its way home and recharges itself. Stop it. Whoa. And I've got more. And it has something <laughs> that sanitizes all the surfaces it Okay, goes now across. you know I've got that germaphobe thing going on. Yeah, so that, that actually appeals to me. So I'll put a, something in the show notes. And actually, it's worth every single penny. Ooh, okay, I, wa- I really would like to Now try I this. want one. But yeah. I, wonder I, want what, Bobby. I wonder what they're, Emmett they're, would think of the Bobby. They're a little, pet. I'm not going to say they're inexpensive. They are not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. However, for what it does, they are so worth it. Mm. And I, I think I've seen them like in Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. But I, I'll put I'll put it in the show notes. But that's you know that that interesting. Um, is it a is, is there a something. voice command for Bobby? I don't I no I don't I don't you just think so maybe you just schedule him. I, I got it a Her. couple years ago, so maybe there's something new. Yeah, but I, I mean, but you just have it, it run like when you're asleep. Um, no, when I'm just around the house, I just, but you're not you worried know. about, I mean, I'd be worried about somebody coming over, not looking where they're walking and tripping over it. Well, if somebody answers the door, I would tell it to go back to its home. Oh, it is voice activated then. Well, it's, it's, you have a little remote control. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Wow. I didn't explain good that. Good stuff. Okay. That yes. sounds great. Mm-hmm. Well, I have a product that I love and makes things uh, smell good. And I think if your mirrors are clean and your, your either mirrored or glass surfaces are clean, you know, even if the rest isn't, it, it goes a long way mm-hmm. because it's so obvious when those are dirty mm-hmm. and smudgy. So I love spray away. It's probably not, I don't know, you know, if there are probably greener things on the market, let's just say, but mm-hmm. spray away is the best glass cleaner ever, mm-hmm. in my opinion. And it's a white canister with a blue cap. You can get it in any grocery store or on Amazon or anything, but um, it, it works like a charm. And it doesn't Kelly, have I've ammonia. Kelly, I've never seen it. Kelly, I've never oh, seen no it. Oh, no ammonia. Okay. Yeah, no ammonia. So oh, I can use it on good. my um, frameless glass shower doors. Oh, I wonder oh. if that's why they created that without the ammonia. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So it's, it's a really good one. So I have one of those under mm-hmm. the cabinet in my bathroom and I have under the sink and you could just grab that. If you've, if you've got this little swirly thing going around the floor and then if you just swished and what, what is it? Swish and swipe mm-hmm. and then you spray it away. You're done. Oh, that's... <laughs> go out you know, and ha- go, go get a suntan. Or no, no, you're not allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, I don't go know. Go antiquing. Go antiquing. There you go go volunteer. Yes. Something. And I have another easy tip. What? Uh, well, I, when you run your washing machine and you open it up, I have those front door, uh, the front load ones. Yes, and people yes. have problems with them smelling bad. I've mm-hmm. never had a problem because... When after I finish washing, I always leave the door ajar. I don't close it all the way so it can breathe. Oh, so, it, that's as so long simple. as you don't have cats 
or ch- little children. <laughs> oh, that would well, work. could they close it from the inside though? Or? I don't know, but you know, you know how kids. Well, are. the other thing you can do is if you do want to close it, you've got to get in with a paper towel underneath that kind of the rubber flap and just kind yes. of wipe up any kind of water sitting in there. So if you can clean that, just wipe it up with a paper towel or two. Then you can shut it and it'll be fine. And you right, because that's where the smell is emanating mm-hmm. from. Yeah. If, if you were to have a smell, okay. You told me that oh, I, a while back, and I've been doing that, and it works like a charm. Mm, it's just yeah, wonderful. I've never. Mm-hmm. I've had these uh, wash this washing machine for years. I've never had a problem. Okay, here's oh, another product. Awesome. Now we we sound like you know we're doing a product show, but. These are definitely things that we have used and they save you time and mm-hmm. they're not sponsors of our show or anything, but, you know, we're just passing the information right, along. Right, right. None of these are sponsors. As I mentioned, you know, uh, uh, when I was talking about Thomas Avenue Ceramics, there is a product on the market called Enduro Shield and I learned about it mm. about And that's or- on mine. Yeah, right. that's on my uh, I originally board. learned about it about eight or ten years ago for tile because I had white subway tile in my shower and we had very hard water and it was building up calcification. And then, you know, if you, if it, then, you know, you need to clean it on top of that. It just made it much more difficult. So I learned about this product. I did a super deep clean of the shower. The tile was all sparkly. And then I applied this product, which is just a clear liquid product that you spray on. And I think, you know, depending on the applicator that you choose, you either wipe it a little bit. You can't see it. You can put it right over the tile and mm-hmm. right over the grout. And it has this, it's an actual shield and it repels the dirt and just makes it so much easier to clean. It doesn't get into the pores of the tile or anything. Um, and mm-hmm. I found that it saved me so much time going forward. Mm-hmm. Again, you don't mm-hmm. want to use an ammonia product right. or that will um, remove it. Mm-hmm. something too harsh or abrasive. Because, yes, you'll scratch it off. Uh, but you don't really have to use anything so hard after you apply wow. it. Then when but I, I wondered si- if you use something like this beeswax, if that might be not as permanent, but might be helpful as far as repelling. Might be. That. I don't know yeah. that about that product. But then mm-hmm. dial ahead, you know, to Christmas Eve when we were having, because who doesn't have a shower installed on Christmas Eve? Uh, we had mm-hmm. ours done. Oh, my, it's like our house. Yeah. yeah so yeah, <laughs> The holiday project. It's a great day to do that. Um, so... It came <laughs> from the factory. The glass um, frameless shower doors had the Enduro Shield. So obviously, you know, oh, wow. the, the good new word about this product has spread far and wide. Mm-hmm. And it actually just gets put on uh, glass shower doors. So if you're in the market for glass shower doors, make sure that whoever is manufacturing those for you puts this coating on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you don't wow. see it, but it makes it so much easier to clean it. Again, speeding up the cleaning process so you can get out and go do the fun things that you want mm-hmm. to be doing or mm-hmm. spend time with your family and friends rather than scrubbing your tile. Mm-hmm. Kelly, can I ask you a question about that? Yes. Does it, so it's on glass, it's mm-hmm. on tile. Can you use it on counter surfaces like... Um, you know, like marble or granite or anything like that? Do you, you know, know? I, I don't know that. Um, okay. I, and I would say, you know, I don't want to say yes, you can, but I'm mm-hmm. trying to think of a reason why you couldn't, and mm-hmm. I can't think of one. But I would definitely, I have not used it on a, a countertop. But, mm-hmm. you, you know, it may be a, a situation where they have a certain offshoot of the product that's for countertops Mm -hmm. but you know we could take a look I'll take a look when we're preparing the show notes and I'll see if there's anything out there for that this is so informative because I'm using some beautiful tile from Thomas Avenue to do a backsplash on my kitchen Mm -hmm. and that is a place that you probably could use that that would really save the grime that gets up there from like your your cooktop or whatever yeah 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 oh wow I have another one. We're going to go to the kitchen for this. Mm-hmm. I think if you are, if you cook your meals, uh, you know, some people can make such a mess in the kitchen and I tend to be that way. Mm-hmm. So I have to really watch what I do not to make a huge mess. Cause our deal is I cook, Bobby cleans up and I, you know, I don't want to make them a huge mess. So the first thing I do is put, um, I have a big farmhouse sink and I have a, a dish pan in it I fill that up with hot suzzy water immediately and then I don't use a dish rack for drawing I just put like a a, a big paper a big um 
a tea towel on it or I have, you know, those microfiber, more absorbent mats that for doing that. Mm -hmm. And I put that down immediately and that's how I start. And I want to tell you, Rachel Ray did not discover the garbage bowl. My grandmother did. <laughs> she did that far before Rachel Ray. Mm -hmm. And I actually have one. Mm -hmm. And as I cook, everything goes into that. So I'm because even in if you have like I just if you do onions or anything that smells or any like um, protein products, you don't want them sitting in a trash can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what I do, I know now this part is not earth friendly and I haven't figured out a great way to do this, but I get um, bags from my grocers and I I put I line my garbage bowl with one of those bags Right. So oh, great idea. plastic bags. So I throw all the garbage in it, tie it up, and then just take it out and throw it in my garbage can. And it saves a lot of. Now I'm surprised you don't have like a bags. compost. Uh, do two piles. Well, you know, one for I, the I did that for years and years and years, mm -hmm. and I'm just a little off it right now. Okay. Okay. All right. You know, I've already done that. But have a garbage bowl, and as you cook, you clean up. Yeah. Don't leave mm -hmm. anything like scattered about. And a great thing I also do is I have like a plastic bin that if I take anything out of the fridge, I put it all in that so I could just carry the bin over and put it all back. Oh, there you go. Very That's efficient. Smart. Makes clean. And then talking about fridge. Now, I've not been good at this recently because I've had a foot issue and you know that it's a little hard for me to get around right now. But I keep my refrigerator really clean and mm -hmm. I do it constantly. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I don't have like fuzzies on anything or oh, mystery <laughs> food. No, no. Because if you, if as you go in, as you're looking at things, I'm always checking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just so easy to do. And the other thing is, as, as you cook and like you use like, let's say you use capers or something like that. I keep a, a, a warm, wa clean washcloth um, with suzzy water on it, and I wipe that down before I put it back in. Because what really is bad is getting those, you know, those rings that you get on the on yes. like the on the uh, um, shelf of a of a um, yeah, and they're refrigerator. Sticky. Yeah. Oh, Ugh. they're such a mess. Yeah. Or like, yeah. or like, so I always clean my jars off before I put it back. So you're always going to have a nice refrigerator and a nice cooking area. Mm. And I just, my sister taught me that that's a respectful, respect your um, cooking area. That's, that's a matter right. of respect. And it makes it so much more pleasant when you're cooking if it's all clean yes. and it's not a mess because then you think, oh, I don't want to see the mess and it gets I stressful. don't want to do this. I'll mm. do takeout instead. Right. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And or my husband you know. leaves the dishes till the following morning. Mm. You know, nobody like wants that, to come down to that. No. Well, I, I he he gets up way before he's he's like up in you know way early in the morning, so he does that. But I don't like the idea of them sitting. But here, I think here's what we're saying: we're saying cleaning is for most people, like my mother, it's just a joy. She loves to clean, but for most people, it's a discipline. Mm -hmm. And a discipline is something is a learned process that you that you do and well, it's something that you keep on doing right. because it's a matter of discipline green chef is a delicious delight any time of year but especially during the holidays what a wonderful vision to behold of the green chef boxes on your doorstep green chef is the number one meal kit for eating well and it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60 
DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with quince. Go to quince.com DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Well, and what you're saying is don't let it get out of control. That's when it just, you feel like you don't even know where to start. But even before that, Anita, it's a mindset. Mm -hmm. It's a disciplined mindset that, okay, I, I, we've worked so hard that we have a lovely home that I value the people in my home. I value myself. I'm worthy of living in a clean house that, that, um, you know, it doesn't just, just, Make it a discipline. Mm -hmm. And you know what I think of that really gets to me and makes me want to have a home like this? My grandmother lived in a very humble row home um, in a coal mining town. And that woman and many of the women on her street that I grew up off and on when my dad was remote, they would literally go out and scrub the public sidewalks in front of their home. Wow. And they were very humble they, I'm not going to say they were dirt poor like my other grandmother, but a very humble means. Mm-hmm. And they would literally scrub their porches, scrub the sidewalk, because it was a matter of, a, of pride in what they had and taking good care of what they have because they couldn't replace it. And it became a discipline. It's something mm-hmm. she just did. Mm. Beautiful and we thought. have such a disposable... Um, uh, we have such a disposable lifestyle right now. Yeah. So, you know, and, and replaceable lifestyle. So I sort of embrace that like a little bit of my nanny and think, you know, that's a wonderful way to live because it's such a respectful way to live. Well said, Yvonne. <laughs> go, you go, nanny. You go, I'm nanny. In, <laughs> she's up in heaven Pass right down now. down to, but, uh, yeah. Godchild of a cold miner. Perfect. Cold miner, yes. godchild. I love it. Yeah. Yep. I didn't know that about your grandma. Wow. Yeah, she was, oh, she was quite a woman. She became a widow at the age of 35, had oh. three little kids. I During know. Second World War, she was like um, a Rosie the Riveter. She worked. Um, oh, my goodness. Literally in a steel mine. I wow. mean, a steel, yeah. And raised three great kids and did all kinds of wonderful things. So mm-hmm. I, I really admire her for her gumption, spunk, and love of her family. That's beautiful. Thank you yeah. for sharing that part. I yeah, love so- that. Well, I think we had lots of great tips today. Um, I'm going to try some of these products that you guys have uh, suggested, and I'm definitely all about that little Bobby Bobby pet. I like that idea. I'll put, yeah, I'll put that on the whirling um, while Janet. you sleep or whatever it's going to be doing. <laughs> I think this. Yeah, is, I'm going to be checking that one out too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, we hope today gave you all an opportunity to see ways to save even 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, or spend a good half hour and get the job done. So you don't have to spend two or three hours, uh, you know, on the weekend cleaning your house. We're Absolutely. all too busy for all that kind of stuff. That's so, right. Let's um let's make a pact that we'll all keep on top of it so we can have more free time over the, the summer and the coming months. Mm-hmm. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us today. We want to remind you that we are here to help you create a beautiful home. Until next time. 
Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us. 